hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. I am not as tired as I thought I'd be because some chatters know if you're following our channel, we did do a painting yesterday, let's, let's bring it out real quick. Wowie, look at that. So this is a 12 by 16 abstract piece. We painted this live on my second Twitch channel. I'm going to go ahead and shout it out in the chat. So if you're following this channel, you should probably go follow me on our channels because you'll get more just chatting vibes. If you're watching on desktop, you can click right here. And if you're watching on mobile, you can click the link in chat. We're on the road to get affiliate. All we need is... 17 more followers following is free so go follow that second channel it'll help me out a lot so we did that yesterday <laughs> it was a nine plus hour stream because i think painting it took nearly eight and a half hours like i was still surprised because even though the, the design is simple like this is all like brush strokes so you have to be very precise with like every single stroke you do so that's why it took fucking forever. But <laughs> I feel fine today. Like, I'm not too exhausted. I think it's because, like, I did sleep in a little bit. I, s I usually wake up at 7.30, but I woke up at 8.30, so. Looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I did notice my voice a little bit hoarse, but. We're gonna push through. We're gonna push through. Okay, chatters. Um. I don't really have any other updates besides that. <laughs> Um, but we got a loaded week this week. Today we're doing Mario Kart, tomorrow, Eastward, Thursday we're starting Super Mario Galaxy, Friday we might do a painting stream. I don't know if I'm gonna be live Saturday, I because I, I think I might go with a friend, and then Sunday we're doing subscriber-only Meg Esports Mario Party event. If you win, you get VIP for a month. Wow. So we got a full week of streams to, or not today, this week. So look forward to that, guys. If you are following, make sure you have Go Live notifications turned on. That way you get pinged for when I go live. Once again, I forgot to say hi to Janish. Uh, we have Potato, Lemmy, Hacker, and Mac in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. I think we can go ahead and get started. We haven't used this scene in a while. My god. Because <laughs> we've been trying out, like, the full screen overlay. It feels weird using this one. But I know it's fine. Wait, I forgot. I forgot. We gotta do our sub goal for today. Let's see what we're at. We're at 107. Still crazy. Shadows Oilers. Uh, goal today is gonna be 110. There we go. Also, gentle reminder. If you gift a total of five subs to the channel by the end of the month, you'll get a custom sketch card. And for any chatter who makes the best clips by the end of the month, we'll give VIP. Easy clap. So chatters, if you're watching the live and you want a good way to help support, all you gotta do is clip the streams. It's really good for like the offline content and new viewers coming in. Okay, we haven't played in like two weeks. I might be a tiny bit rusty, but I think I got it in the bag. Okay, we're gonna start off with computers, obviously. 200 cc because I'm not a normie. Yahoo! Okay, we're going to be doing predictions every single race. So chatters go gamba. Do you think I will get first? I don't think we've played in two weeks. I'm so, <laughs> I was so excited to play this morning. Because I don't play much offline because I feel like... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I had to take a breath. <laughs> I didn't warm up before stream today, so my voice may be a little bit funny. Anyway. Since I've been streaming, I don't necessarily play games as much offline. Like, I think the only times I play Mario Kart is when it's on stream. I still do play Animal Crossing offline occasionally, but not as much as I used to because I feel like if I'm playing something off stream then I could be recording it for a video, but then it's like I shouldn't see gaming as 
work, I guess, even though streaming isn't a job for me. Like, I know in my free time I typically will, like, watch videos or draw on my own. Because I think it's important to have some degree of separation from, like, your casual and leisure time from, like, stream or, like, making content. That's why I don't think I could ever do vlogging. Because I feel like the people who vlog, they feel like they need to film everything. And to me, it just feels so fake. Like, family vloggers are so toxic. I'm really glad that I grew up in the era right before vlogging started popping off. Because I know... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I know if, like, vlogging started to be popular maybe five years before it did, my mom would have been a family vlogger. I know she would have. Dude, I've gotten clapped twice. So I'm glad we missed that trend. I've never hit that sign? Okay. <gasps> okay, I would have lost the red shell anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you thought you could get me? Nice try. Oh, come on. Not right here. Don't let me down. Well, that's what you get for gambling. I know you're new. I'm pretty cracked in Mario Kart. Holy, oh, they're right behind me. Okay, we're good. We're saved. <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> See, I still got some level of skill, okay? <laughs> Okay, next race. <laughs> okay, next prediction is up. Go Gamba Chatters. Also, Chatters, feel free and like ask questions. I know Mario Kart is usually a bit more fast paced. But I'm decent enough to where I can talk and play the game. <laughs> Cause like I've, I've like fuck, I have like a list of random topics to talk about today, but it's just like, you know, silly things. Like I'm not the type of person to ignore chat if I'm playing like a busier game. Cause with this type of stream setup, we did talk about it yesterday on the art stream. Um, with this setup, I can just glance down and look at chat. I don't have to like turn my head. That's why I really like this main setup I have. Because I think it's really cringe when people who are streaming that like physically turn their head to like look at chat or a different monitor. That's why I know the single monitor setup I have, I have a laptop, is kind of hard to work with. But it feels charming almost to know that I have limited space. I think it's also not really a problem because I console stream. I don't stream for my um, PC. I don't do any laptop games. Like, I know if I did start doing PC games, I would have to get a second monitor. Oh, I dodged! You're still trying to get three stars in all maps, dude. That took me forever. But I think it's totally doable. Whenever I practice, I usually practice in 200 CC. Because I feel like if you can do the maps in the hardest difficulty, you can do them in the slowest. Like, whenever I do do 150, it feels so off-putting. Oh, I thought I could get her mid-air. That would have gone crazy. Come on, my lines are better. Oh, no. Okay, we didn't have any doubters, so I think every all the believers get refunded. Oh, no. <laughs> Did something happen? Did I- I think I fucked up a few lines. It took me a while to get decent at that track. Damn, yeah. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I have to think about an answer for that question, Potato. I have to think for a second. I'm thinking. I'm actually just stalling. <laughs> but thank you, Potato, for asking questions. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I 
I know in my household growing up, my mom is Japanese, so we had a lot of Asian cuisine, like fairly regularly. Uh, but when I was younger, she found it really important to educate my sister and I about other cultures. So every single month, up until I was up until the age of about ten, we would do like different activities. My mom would make different cultured foods, but. It was like a really kind thing for her to do, you know, to like kind of educate her children and help them gain perspectives. But I don't remember any of it. <laughs> like she would have us like learn about different like foreign cultures, make different foreign foods. Like she would spend so much money like planning activities and buying like special ingredients, but me and my sister don't remember any of it. Um <laughs> If I were to try like a food that um that I haven't tried recently, I think I've been really wanting to try Greek food. Like I keep on seeing like local restaurants pop up. I'm like, should I try? But I'm like, I'm scared to try new things, especially like, going out to eat. Like, what if it doesn't taste good? And then I'm like, I feel like I'm wasting my money. Like, I don't think I've ever gone to a sit-down restaurant and not enjoyed the food. Like, I can't imagine the waiter walking up to you and be like, oh, how was your meal? And you're just like, it was okay. Or you always, by default, have to say, oh, it was good, even if it was, like, even if it was horrible. Like, I've been to a few diners, and the food is ass, but you still have to say that it's decent, right? Just to be nice and courteous. Oh, come on. My lines are better than yours. My lines are better. Get boomed. <laughs> Fuck you! Sorry. <laughs> I dodged the blue, but I was robbed of first again. Okay, Chatters, I promise I'm good at this game. I haven't played for two weeks. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. <sighs> oh, you know what's really good? Um, If you guys ever have curry, if you ever try, like, the coconut milk-based ones, like, Thai curry is really good. Anyway, Chatters, go Gamba. Fuck, I'm, I'm so mad. I was robbed. I was robbed. It's because I usually- because like the mushroom gourd, so the part where you're in the cave, I usually go down the left path, but for some reason, I went down the right path. I guess rat is not rat. We got some doubters this time? Damn. Oh, good line? Can I just say, I'm still genuinely surprised I got third in last month's tournament. That went kind of crazy. I think it just proves that I'm somewhat good at the game, right? Are you a toilet main? No. I usually made rose gold, gold peach, but I kind of want to switch up my characters. Mainly because I don't like playing the same one all the time. I used to let chatters choose my characters with, chat with channel points, but then everybody chose fucking Wario because they know I hate heavy characters. And it got annoying, so I, I've disabled it for now until chatters can behave. Like, I know a little bit of trolling is fine and dandy, but it's- WHAT DO- It's because I wasn't there, true. True. <laughs> I mean, you just have to show up for the next one, Hacker. Dude, what was that even? Slash, you know, I think Hacker- I think you for sure could've gotten top three. Because we had less sweats than we normally did. Wanna ride on his ass? No way I lose here. Screw the doubters. Got it in the bag. Will I get first? Of course I will. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll do a few pre's with computers and then we'll do online. Because I need to practice doing online more. Because one, I need to get better at my tournaments, right? And also, I just need to get better in general. Damn, a one-star gold trophy? SMH.
I usually play Rose Gold Peach because I think it's such a flex. Let's see, let's try Tanuki Mar because I think Potato said that was their main. <laughs> I just like King Boo because of his noises, yeah. <laughs> I think Daisy's is super funny because she's like, oopsie daisy! It, it's genuinely so funny to me. Okay. I think one of the biggest scams in like junior high and high schools is feeling like you need to buy a yearbook. Or like an annual, because you know how they have the hard book cover yearbooks they sell at the end of the year? But they cost like 60, 80 bucks sometimes. I think when I was in school they cost 50, but I walked past my old junior high the other day and they said they were selling them for $75. And I'm just like, oh my god. I feel like you only really need a yearbook if you're like involved in the school, like if you do sports or if you're in a club. But I was the type of kid to where I wasn't very active in my... <laughs> community or my school like environment so I just didn't the only time I was featured in a picture in one yearbook was just for my like actual photo and I think in senior year I was in two clubs I was in three pictures but still oh I think one of the fun parts of a yearbook is like going to the back of the book seeing how many pages you are on and then figuring out which student has like the most pictures in the yearbook I think that's the only fun part because you don't really look at your annual cast when you're in school. Like, I don't think anybody generally opens their yearbook two years after they graduate to look at themselves. They just... I think they just want to find old pictures so they can make fun of people when they get, like, ugly and fat, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, it has no utility. <laughs> hey, yo! What? How are they coming off? Yes! Dude, that was crazy. That was insane clutch right there. Somebody better fucking clip that. Damn, your books are expensive, yeah. I mean, I don't know why they're so expensive. I think it's because the schools that I went to were like the main schools of our town. I don't know. But yeah, I, like when I walked past the junior high the other day, they cost like 75 bucks. Because they had like a little handwritten sign that one of the, the kids made. Like, hey, buy a yearbook, $75. Oh, wait, I forgot, like, how you're supposed to you're supposed to autograph in the back. Oh, dude, when people would write their phone numbers and then you never text them? Holy. I keep losing the game, but just put believe every time. Easy. We're playing against computers. We're playing easy mode right now. Just wait till we get to online. It's brutal. I had somebody on my TikTok ask what my online score is. And I told them, it's like 6,000, and they're like, oh my god, that's a lot, but 6,000 is nothing. <laughs> nice try, Roy. Like, I've seen people with like 50,000 points, and I have only 6k. Oh, I hate that line. You never bought a high school yearbook? Yeah, I feel like they're a scam, but my mom would make me buy them. Even my senior year, because my sister, she's two classes younger than me. I was trying to convince my mom, I was like, you know, my sister's getting your book. I don't think I need one. She's like, no, you guys need to have your own separate ones. That way you can have your friends sign it. But plot twist, I have no friends. <laughs> but hi, welcome in, Cokes. Fuck it. I looked at chat, I blame you guys. See, that, that line is horrible. Why is Roy not holding the bananas behind him? He's kind of D.O.M. Bad move. They're gonna nail the turn this time. Okay, that was a tiny bit better. Oh, I should have held. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh no, it, it, it all ends here. <laughs> Dude, that was 
crazy. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I cut him off and then I just stayed right in front of him. Holy. <laughs> that was good. That's crazy. Yeah, I know when I was a um, sophomore in high school, like, I was friendly with the older kids. But then when I became a senior, I was friendlier with the, with the younger kids. So I don't know. My heart can't take it, but I still won. I still won. Did you not see that insane clutch I had at the end? How long did it take to finish the painting? Um, eight and a half hours almost. But I did finish by 9 p.m. So 12 p.m. Eastern. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try and start the painting streams at like 8 or 9 a.m. That way I'm not painting throughout my whole fucking day. But I just had to start later yesterday because I didn't get home till like 11. Yo, why are there so many items? Why are there so many? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I think this is one of my weaker tracks in this wave of the DLC. Does anybody know when Wave 3 is coming out? Because I think they announced that it'll be holiday season. But what does that mean? Does that mean, like, end of November, beginning of December, or like, January 1st? We'll never know. Why are these computers so good suddenly? Can we boom all three? Oh. I got the train! Okay, that was kind of cool. I didn't know the train would get screwed too. Wait, hold? No, come on, come on. Dude, I, I threw. I threw. Yeah, that was really bad. That was really bad. That was really bad. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna redeem myself now. I'm gonna redeem myself. This race is gonna go great. Oh, I like all the acceleration. That's okay, Cokes. Don't worry, bud. You know, you gotta go do real life shit. Can't just spend all the time in your computer like I do. <laughs> Who here celebrates Thanksgiving for the real holiday? I don't think anybody celebrates Thanksgiving for the actual history aspect of it. Because, like, if we think about the complexities of what Thanksgiving represents, it's so much, like, it's all about colonialization and just American indoctrination. So it's not the best thing to celebrate. But, you know, having a excuse to meet up with family and eat good food, I think, is a valid reason. I know for us, we didn't really celebrate Thanksgiving with family, because a lot of my family lives out of state. Um, and of course, plane tickets are expensive, so it's not like they could travel or we could afford to travel every year. So, the only time we really saw family was during funerals or maybe a wedding. But of course, you have to go to funerals, because if you don't go to a funeral, you're kind of a bad person. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Everybody has their reasons. I'm trolling. But we never got to celebrate Thanksgiving with family. It was always our immediate family. Which is fine, but it just means a lot less cooking, which is pretty cool. And I think our local Winko had a promotion to where if you spent, it was either $100 or $150, you can get a free turkey. And of course, when you're broke, that's a game changer. I was thinking about it. Like, if I am able to move my November... Like, I don't know if our family would celebrate Thanksgiving this year. I don't know. Because it's usually just my mom, my dad, and my sister and I. But if my sister and I move out, then 
I don't know. Maybe we could celebrate Thanksgiving at like one of our friends' house. I've always wanted to do a Friendsgiving. Like it sounds like so much fun. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm throwing, I'm throwing. <laughs> dude, what is going on? Oh, my lines could have been better. Guys, read the title. I'm rusty. That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, funerals are sad, especially if they were close. I've only gone to one funeral in my life. Oh, the pre's over? Holy fuck. Um. Yeah, it depends on how big the turkey is. Isn't it like... I don't know what it is, but it, if you cook it for X amount of minutes based on how much it weighs. We can look it up later. Uh, I've only gone to one funeral. So it was my grandpa's funeral. And... I was never too close with my, like, extended family, like, my grandparents included, but I still cried because everybody else cried at the funeral. And it was a more traditional one, so we had to do, like, this different, like, clapping ceremony. And, like, clapping, then a prayer. Clap, clap, prayer. Um, and it was, like, really emotional, like, seeing everybody pray at the same time. Because, like, I'm a religious, um, so I didn't grow up in that type of like, environment, you could say. I don't know, it was weird. It was very overwhelming. Okay, let's actually look up how long to cook a turkey. Anyway, chatters, go gamba. How long to cook a turkey? Oh, if it's 20 to 24 pounds, 4 to 5 hours. How long has it been exactly? Um, the last Mario Kart stream we did, so nearly like 2-3 weeks ago. <laughs> Wait, I did play offline with my sister and her friend like a week and a half ago, and I crushed them. Because they're plebs and they never play. See, the trick to be good at Mario Kart is to practice enough to where you look really good when compared to new players. Because you look so cool and epic in their POV. But in actuality, you're just average. You're nothing special. You're not cool. You're not cracked. Like, I have to say I'm decent, but I, I don't know any of like the cool drift tricks. I don't know... I know most of the skips, it's just a matter of, like, being able to execute them. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to do the tricks in the Ice Ice Outpost. They're a bit too difficult. Turkeys are that heavy? Have you never gone grocery shopping with your parents for Thanksgiving? Like, even just to tag along? They're heavy, dude. It's like a small child. Get fucked! Easy. My brother calls me a cheater because I play with the antenna. Uh, smart steering. You should practice without smart steering, I'll say. That's all I'll say. Because, like, smart steering prevents you from, like, min-maxing your lines. It also kind of, like, ruins your drift as well. So practice without the antenna. I, I promise you it'll be a lot better experience. I've never had turkey, only white people chicken. <laughs> You've only done the side dishes? You guys don't do the turkey? Really? I don't feel like that's common. I think my favorite Thanksgiving side has to be the stuffing. I used to hate the stuffing, but now that I like this like savory and sweet combo, I kind of like when there's cranberries mixed in. Oh, but we do make this, um, like, cranberry, I guess, jello? What would you call it? But it's like, it's like a creamy cranberry jello almost. It's really good. 
I think the recipe calls it cranberry salad, but it's basically jello, cranberry sauce, um, heavy whipped cream cream, and then you fridge it. Mashed potatoes are the best side. I can never make good mashed potatoes, though. I, anytime I've tried to, like, hand make mashed potatoes, they're still kind of lumpy. Maybe it's because I'm just lazy and I don't, <laughs> like, mash them enough. <laughs> Hi, welcome in, Kovovo. And, like, it was weird because, like, my sister, she's very picky with her food. And when we made the mashed potatoes like that, she kind of liked them with, like, the huge pieces of potato. Not the- okay. They weren't huge pieces. They were, like, maybe clumps the size of, like, half a pea. Like, I don't mind making mashed potatoes if it's, like, the potato flakes. I don't mind that at all. But this is making me hungry? Exactly. Chat Chatters, it is basically my lunchtime right now, so I am hungry. Therefore, if I'm hungry, I'm gonna make you guys hungry. You have to suffer alongside me. Oh, you guys make deviled eggs for Thanksgiving? That sounds pretty good. I made some deviled eggs a few weeks ago. And instead of using mayonnaise, I used avocado. And it was really good. Like, the avocado taste was still really strong. But it was still- it still had that kind of creamy texture of mayo. Dude, my lines are crazy! I'm cracked! Oh, so other people bring the turkey. Gotcha. This is such a fast build. No one caught up into the blue show? Yeah. I think this is the best build I can find that has a really good acceleration. Did I get first? Of course I did. Thank you for the little cracker. <clears throat> Chatters go gamble. Do you think I will get first? Um, <laughs> are you able to check who is watching even if they don't chat? There is a way for streamers and chatters to see. Um, it's called uh, the users and chat menu. You can see like which moderators are there, you can see which bots are active. You can see which shadows are lurking. Um, I typically don't have it open. I usually just have it open to see which mods are active, but I did have mods. Um, I know some streamers, like this was one of Ninja's like tips and tricks to be a streamer. I think one of his main tips was, you know, have your users list open. And if you see somebody come in, like say their name. I think that is crazy. Do not ever do that. Because I feel like a lot of people don't like to be called out for looking. I know I feel kind of awkward myself. That's why I typically don't call out chatters by name unless I know they're like actively chatting already. Because I know some people, they like to vibe, they like to listen to the streamer talk. They don't necessarily like chatting all the time. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's wild. I feel like that tip could have worked maybe five years ago when Ninja started, but no way. No way that's like acceptable now. Dude, how'd that guy get a bullet all the way to first? Dude, it's over. GG's. Why would a streamer do that? I don't know. You know, like, I have also seen clips of, like, streamers, like, getting mad at lurkers, but it's like... You shouldn't be mad at them. You should be more upset at yourself for not engaging in a way that encourages your chat room to be active. Controversial, but true. Because if I am not conducting myself in a way that is encouraging people to chat or engage back with me, then I'm the problem, not the viewer base. If somebody calls me out for lurking, I'm leaving. Hi, Nyx. <laughs> but yeah, it's cringe, isn't it? You know, okay, you know the best analogy? I just thought of it. Calling out lurkers is like the teacher calling on the kid who did not have their hand raised. Dude, write that down. That's such a good analogy. Because obviously the kid, if they don't have their hand raised, they don't want to talk. They don't have an answer. Dude, that was good. Somebody write that down. Way too based Megan. <laughs> I mean, I feel like most of my chatter normally are chatters. Like, I don't feel like a lot of people lurk. Like, if you just look at- Don't say my viewer count, because that's cringe. Do not ever talk about viewer count when somebody is live. But, um, Twitch- Oh, what the fuck? 
Okay, Twitch enabled a new setting to where you can see, like, where your viewer count peaks, and then also when your chat messages peak. So, it, it kind of tells you which parts of your stream are your viewers most engaging with. Um, and it's interesting because you can look back and see, like, let, let's say, for example, if you go up five viewers in one minute, do those five viewers chat right away? Or did they kind of, like, hang out for a little bit before they chatted? Anyway, going back to my main point, if you look, don't, don't see what the number is, Shatter's Crew, that's cringe. But if you look at my, like, average viewer count throughout a stream, if you count the number of chatters, it's a really high amount. Uh, because typically, I think about 10% of your viewer base actually chats, and the rest, rest of the people lurk. You'll see that especially with, like, larger streamers, because less people chat because they don't necessarily get a one-on-one -on -one interaction. But let's say, for example, if I have 10 people watching, I usually have like 5 people chatting. And if you think about that, that's 50%. Even if it's 5 people, that's still 50%. That's a really... That's a really big margin. <laughs> Whoa! 3,000 viewers, that'd be insane. Dude, imagine I become a 3k Andy. Wait, how fast would my chat be? I think it, the one thing I do find interesting is seeing how chat room's dynamics change when like a, a streamer gains viewers. So I feel like once somebody hits like the 25 viewer mark, their chat room kind of slows down a little bit because everybody who watched initially near the beginning, they like the one-on-one -on -one interactions, but that kind of dissipates when you start averaging more people and have more active chatters. So I think it'll be interesting to see how, a, how it'll change if I ever do grow. What the fuck? Dude, that was an L. I'd probably no longer chat, yeah. <laughs> but like you said, chat room dynamics change once you gain more viewers, and that's fine. It's because different chatters want different things in terms of what level of engagement they want to input, and then also what the streamer gives back to them. I get nervous chatting when there's a lot of people. Uh, I don't necessarily get nervous anymore, I just- If I see an active chat and like the streamer reads my message and they laugh to it, then I feel good. Because they chose to read my message out of like, let's say 20. Because I feel like once you're partner level, you probably get like, maybe a chat every like 5 seconds. So basically like... How many chats a minute is that? What's well, 60 divided by 5? I'm, I meant to say 5 seconds, not 5 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> eight, uh, yeah, eight messages per minute, I think, is, like, how many people usually get in a minute, which is kind of overwhelming. Um, for some people, but once you get to that kind of, like, once you get to that active of a chat, you can try to pick and choose what you respond to. <clears throat> but it's cool. Okay, I think we'll do two more freeze, because we're still warming up. And we chatted to a Gamba. Yeah, Mac, um, Mac went to school. Because they, they're in school now. <laughs> it's 12 a minute? Oh, fine. <laughs> Whatever. I was off by four. <laughs> yeah, Mac's in school, big Sag. Imagine skipping stream for classwork. It's the worst thing a person can do. Okay, I'm actually trying. Song? Okay, we'll sing a song after this race. Thank you for redeeming Lemmy. Ooh, Chatters, we get to sing a song. We haven't sing a song fuck in a long time. Oh now I need to think of what I want to sing. Damn it. No requests. I don't do requests, because I don't sing songs that I don't want to don't 
know how to sing. I got boomed. I'm not taking the parachute because I need to stay on the ground, save some time. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that bullet pill was huge. <laughs> Holy. Did I jump over that boost pad? That was DUM. Dude, look, wait, look at the map. I am literally so far up. <laughs> no way I lose. There we go. <clears throat> oh, did I put in the redeem no request? Oh, I, I did say that in the rules, Lamau. <laughs> Lemon tree post mill. I mean, I do know that song. I do know it. Oh, you janners. Good job, believers, you won. Okay, let's sing a song. Okay. Hmm. I haven't sung in a long time. Hopefully I'm good. But thank you, Lammy, for redeeming. I think we can actually try a lemon tree. Ah! <laughs> I had the sound turned on. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I get banned. Dude, Potato trying to bargain. Anybody want a PSA2 shake on a Gamba deal? <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. You're crazy. You say that? You know what the next race is? The next race is Toad's Turnpike. Literally the easiest track in the game. Anyone? <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's sing the song. We gotta meet the music. Lomao, I needed the wrong thing. <laughs> Thank you. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, what I said was, if you like the singing clips, I linked the YouTube playlist in chat. And I haven't sung for you guys in a month. The last time I sang was for the Mario Kart tournament because you guys were stalling. That's literally all I said. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for calling it out. Guys, I'm I'm gonna be a pro streamer one day. Type one? Type one? Okay. Like I said, spam your favorite hype emotes in chat. Your favorite animated emotes. That'd make me feel good. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do Lemon Tree by Post Malone. I think we're gonna try the opening verse and then the chorus. <clears throat> okay, I'm scared. Okay. Couldn't fall asleep all night. I tried with all my might. I thought I know what you want. It isn't all that nice. But I guess it will suffice. It's hard to know what you want. Could you be a little less hour on by the hour? 
and my heart's drawing to and every film i watch i'm on the side of the bad guy so turn around and show me that i'm better some people got an apple some people got a tangerine I look around and all i see is people happy with what they're given life is pretty sweet i'm told i guess i'm shit out of luck growing a lemon tree i'm gonna burn it down and grow me something better yeah there we go <clears throat> thank you guys thank you for spamming i heckin love emote spam that was amazing thank you i tried guys i am multi-talented i stream i fuck <laughs> I sing, I draw. I, I think, like, I'm proficient at most anything I can do. But I'm not, like, there. You know, I'm here, but I'm not there. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, we can do singing once a stream. So, chatters, if you want me to sing again, uh, wait till tomorrow. <laughs> okay, next race. But thank you, Chatters. <clears throat> okay, that song is going to be stuck in my head now. Okay, Chatters, go Gamba. If you want to run your mouth potato, Gamba 5k right now. I'm going to get first on this motherfucking track. This is literally the easiest track in the whole game. Sorry. <laughs> Are you really going to Gamba 5k? Are you really? My controller's wrong because I put it by the fan of my computer. <clears throat> no way I lose here. They have to do 1k first? No, okay. Somebody do it. Somebody do it. I want Potato to lose everything they own. In chat, of course. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, somebody did it. No fucking shot. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. If I lose here, it's gonna be very bad for my reputation. Oh no, everything's on the line. Five canned out? Nice try, motherfucker. Dude, where is it? I get first, of course I will. Who are the believers? I want to see. 7,000 channel points to believers, dude. Potato, you're crazy. Damn. Wait, I want to see who actually got the points. <gasps> 17,000 go to Kobobo and Coax. Holy. I should have picked the map first. Yeah, you should have seen what was coming, dude. <laughs> see, get. I mean, gambling, not gambling. Gamba space ing is fun when the stakes are higher, isn't it? <clears throat> That's why, like, if I'm in a chat and, like, I have a lot of points, I'll usually put, like, 1 or 2k down, because I think it's fun. I can't gamble because my Twitch is so fried. How so? That sucks. But hi, welcome in, Titans. <clears throat> I think we all just learned you gamba big... You win big. But also, if you gamble big, you lose big, so. Just, oh, fuck, just don't ever gamble. We tried logging in and out. It could be a bug. I noticed that, like, Twitch Mobile has been ass recently, but I haven't had any issues with Twitch Desktop in a while.
You might need to like refresh your cookies as well. Just don't gamble, it's not slate. However, gamba! Yeah, exactly. I don't support gambling, but gambling with channel points is the best. Oh, I shouldn't have held this behind. I should have. Damn it. Because, like, if somebody collides into me, they're going to ruin the red shell. But it's too late now. Oh, that was horrible. They fell off. Opinion on Dino Nuggies. Oh my god. Dino Nuggies have to be my favorite food in the whole world, and I haven't had them since I was like 10 years old. I pass them every time I go to the grocery store, and I tell myself, I don't need it. I don't need it. But I am always so tempted. I love them. I love ditching- I, I love dipping them in ketchup when I was little and pretending it was blood. So I would eat off the head and be like, oh my god, he's bleeding! <laughs> Chatters, if we hit our daily sub goal today, I will buy Dino Logos and eat them on stream tomorrow. Oh wait, I'm no, not tomorrow. I have to, I'm going to the store on Saturday. What part of the Dino Nuggies do y'all eat first? The head, obviously. So they can't think anymore. <clears throat> I use ranch. Why? <laughs> I try my best to not make jokes. I think what I want, but I can't say jokes. <laughs> Pizza rolls are better. Pizza rolls is a whole different thing. They are incomparable. That's like comparing bread to pasta. They're, to they're totally different things. Use ranch on pizza rolls too. I mean, that's fine because like people put ranch on their pizza, but ranch on dino nuggies, bruh. <clears throat> Chatters go gamble. Do you think I'll get first coconut mall? I fell in the fountain. I think my go-to dipping sauce for most anything I'll eat has got to be honey mustard. Mainly because I love this sweet and savory combo. Oh, that line was horrible. Oh, no. Oh, what is that line? Fuck, dude. I fell off. And I also feel like honey mustard is like a very adult topping to use. <laughs> Ranch on the no nuggies is a violation, yeah. You know, Lammy already tried to get me with a with a D's nuts debate, and now they're admit no wait, that was potato. Never mind. Never mind. I did not mean to slander. I got confused. My memory is ass. Okay, I'm back in second. I can come back. I'm trying, believers. Oh, nothing to save me here. Honey mustard D tier? Says the guy who uses ranch on their dino nuggies. Oh, that was close. Easy. It was you? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Chatters, I think it's time to try some online. But you know what else it's time for? An ad. Because Chatters, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or... You can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Click the subscribe button, see if you have a Prime available. After the ad, we're going to start with online, putting my actual skills to the test. Peace in 70 slanders or chatters real? I mean, make that a clip, dude. <laughs> yeah, you got the correct pronouns. Thank you for asking, Hacker. <clears throat> can I be there for that? What? <laughs> 
Wait, what were we talking about? Anyway, Ad is coming. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, Chad Slender? Yeah. No, you're fine, hacker. If any, any chatters are curious, I have a command. Okay. It is now time for... Wait. Did I not click online? I clicked multiplayer. <laughs> I think Titans, you're always self-reporting. You're literally always self-reporting. <laughs> See, look, I have 6,000 points. Who should we play? We haven't played Link in a while. Hey, chatters, let's change the topic. Let's change the topic. We're adults here. I mean, no. PG-13 chat? PG-13 chat? <clears throat> okay, chatters, the prediction is changing from first place to top three. Gentle reminder, prediction is changing to top... Wait, never mind. We're spectating. Okay, well, I guess we're stalling until the non-subs come back, right? <laughs> One guy's user was Crybaby. <laughs> oh my god, Pepsi? Oh my god, Pepsi Corporate is here? Am I live, laugh, loving? I guess. I am alive. I am laughing. I am on my incel arc, so I'm not loving. Best Mario Circuit? I hate the Mario Circuit. It's not fun. At all. Oh, I don't like any of these. Okay, Chatter's prediction is now up. Gentle reminder, it is changing from first to top three. So go Gambit. Do you think I will get top three? Go Gambit. How many points did you say you have? I have infinite points. Chatters, how many channel points do you guys have? Thirty-three K? Holy! Mac has like eighty K or something now. Phone streamer. Okay, I finished the time. I had to send a long ass text. I was typing away. Why is it baby part? Dude, Link is so much bigger than everyone else. I used to be so good at baby parts lines, but I feel like they're too simple. I psych myself out. see somebody playing as Donkey Kong, I immediately think it's Scootish. I can't unthink it. Because he does Monkey Mondays where he wears a monkey suit on stream. Okay, Copium, I can catch up. <laughs> Link kinda hot, though. I mean... I didn't say it, but you did. on top three here I come ha! Oh, I thought I could steal him from Viv damn damn wait there was only like eight people in the lobby dude that was an L my odds of getting third were increased and I still dropped the ball Maggie I two piece in 17 in what the fuck
Let's do Mount Wario. I think the lines of Mount Wario are the easiest. Yeah, I'm not good at typing on my phone anymore. It's because, like, I'm starting to grow my nails, so it's a lot harder. Because, like, your nails block where your finger pads are. So I always, like, if I'm meaning to type one letter, I type the one next to it. It's annoying. Two can, yes. I'll do five can, no. The odds of me getting top three are not good. Let's see, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eleven. Wait, what? Two, four, six, eight, ten. What, what? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I couldn't count. There's twelve. We've got a full lobby. There's a lot of green in these in here, though. There's a lot. I think it's funny. A potato's trying to make deals. <laughs> she never said she was good at math. Okay, I don't think counting is math. Wait, let me pause and farm. <laughs> Hold. I don't like how people say counting is math. Because counting and basic arithmetic multiplication is all memorization. To me, math is when you apply those memorized numbers and skills to problems. Like, you know, like PEM does and that type of stuff. But counting your 1 to 10, that's just memorization. It's totally different. <laughs> Next one, maybe? <laughs> Dude, I fell off. <laughs> I love online. Because I think I was pretty good at math, because what I did like about it is that it's fairly formulaic. It's very structured. The only thing, the only time I was not good at math was when there were story problems. Because actually applying the skills you learned doesn't make sense all the time. Or like having to figure out which like math formula to use if it wasn't already told to me. I didn't get. Come on, I need third. I need top three. Dude, imagine to get top three. That'd go crazy. Shatters, if I get first in one online race, you guys are getting sub. You know the rules? Gotcha! Ironic because you tell good stories? <laughs> what? Do you mean like memorization? Is that the joke? Or just storytellers are bad at math? Is that the joke? Oh! Screw you! Get boomed. Second place. Easy. Oh, what you said about story problems? Oh my god, that was actually good. That was good. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Holy. Imagine I get first. Get boomed. Get boomed. No fucking way. Dude, that was crazy! That was insane! Okay, chatters, are there any non-subs in chat? Any non-subs? You'll get the gifted sub. I said if I get first, I'll gift a sub. Any non-subs? Type right now. Any non-subs? Someone would have won 5k? I know. I know. Dude, crazy! Any non-subs in chat? They should have gambled? Yeah. Damn, did you win? Yeah, I got fucking first! I got first! I'm so happy. Okay, chat. N n mod check, non subs. <laughs> Me, please? You're, you're a sub hacker. You silly chatter.
You're you're a sub. I see a bash next to your name, you goof. Okay, it's going to a random chatter. Okay, that's the only sub I'm gifting today. <laughs> non sub only chat. Let's see who's gonna get it. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> who is that? Who megalom? Wait, I didn't do a prediction. I'm a what? You're a sub. Sub only chat! Haha. <laughs> Screw the non subs. Okay, chatters go gambit. Do you think I'll get top three? Did you guys not see that insane first I pulled off? God, fuck, I did too early. This is a normal chat? Maybe. Anyway, thank you, peace and underscore art for gifting a sub. Wowee. If we hit our daily sub goal, I'll buy dino chicken nuggies and eat them on stream. No cap. You just got first Mario Kart 2? Ayo! No! Fuck. Screw you guys. Yeah, who's <laughs> piece of art to <Who> Megalo? <laughs> for chatters who don't know. Um, can somebody type exclamation art in chat for me, please? Somebody? Um, I have a second Twitch channel that is dedicated just for art and painting streams. So, um, go follow it, please. If we hit affiliate in a month, that'd be epic. Thank you, Mac. Putting my chatters to work. Yeah, so go follow the second channel. The doppelganger Megan, yeah. <laughs> It's like a different skin. Yeah, what a sim. Thank you, hacker. <laughs> I mean, hackers on mobile. <laughs> Imagine being a mobile chatter. Third! Holy guys, I'm correct. Dude, throwing fire behind you? What a dick move. I don't like them. <laughs> I was not in range. Top three. No. What? Damn it. Damn it. Dude, we have five K and believe no way. Yeah, mom's close. I got boomed at the end. The bombs are your favorite item. I fucking hate the bombs. I'm not rich like Chatter, stop slandering me. You guys are actually slandering me. You guys want to know how much is in my bank account? I have literally $150. But my Twitch payout is coming in on Friday. So I'll be fine on Friday. I- Oh, you guys are so dumb. I have... <clears throat> I was gonna say... Anything more than ten dollars? <laughs> I guess to some people. And she could afford to buy a new power outlet? Dude, it was twenty dollars. Okay, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, you guys. Guys. Okay, the only reason why I'm rich is because of Oilers. So if you don't want me to rich, don't sub. Do not subscribe. Wait, where is it? Do not subscribe. Do not spend money here. That's crazy. Stop it! I stop, stop. Socialists aren't rich. We give away all our money. You guys know that. Meg Peace in 17 is a rich streamer who a yo holy. Thank you for the two gifted Titans. I appreciate that. Wait, did we get our sub goal? No fucking way. <laughs> White. <laughs> but thank you. You're gonna get your name written at the end of the stream. Fuck, now I have to buy dino nuggies. Wait, chatters, we're so close to a hive train. If we have one more person donate in 30 seconds, we'll get a hive train. If you want a chance to earn exclusive emotes, um, share bits or gift a sub. Easy. Or hashtag suffer with Prime if you want exclusive emotes. We need one more person to donate. But thank you, Titans. 
slander me. Hey, yo. Thank you for the 100 bits, Mac. Chatters, we... Oh, wait, we got the sub goal. People bog, wow. <laughs> but Chatters, we have a hype train. So, I can't type in chat now. Oopsie. Wait, third? Holy. Um, if you cheer bits, subscribe. Within five minutes, then you have a chance to earn Twitch exclusive emotes. Holy, I'm in first. I'm in first. No fucking way. Yeah, chatters, if you have any hype train emotes, can you type them in the chat so other people can see what you got? No! The fire destroyed my red shell. That is not good. That is horrible. Screw you, man. Screw you, honestly. I like trains. I like turtles. Dude, this is gonna go crazy if I can't get two first. This never happens. I hear police, but... Huh? Okay, I'm tryharding, I'm tryharding. Meg is speeding. Oh, that's the joke? I see. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I always wear my seatbelt. Even when the car is parked, I still wear my seatbelt because I'm so scared that something's gonna happen, you know? Like, I have an irrational fear whenever I sit alone in the car that somebody's gonna crash into our parked vehicle. But anxiety is characterized by entertaining. Irrational thoughts, and that's something I'm working on. Dude, look at the fucking massive lead I had, too! I was like a whole quarter of a lap ahead. Okay, not a quarter of a lap, but like, a while. Dude, two first? Am I actually good at this game? What was the sub goal today? We hit it. It was 110, so I have to buy dino nuggies and eat them on stream. I think they self-bombed, so it sent them back. Oh, I love that. Anyway, chatters, we have a hype train going on, so you have three minutes to earn Twitch exclusive emotes in the chat. Hey, yo! Thank you for the 100 bits, cooks. I appreciate you. Thank you. PSA 2, correct? Yeah, I got two. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really fucking commit. We have a hype train. I got two first today. I'm not rich like Megan. I can't participate in the hype train. Um, become a streamer and chill subs. Easy. You were, like, at 40 subs when I found you? I know, crazy. Crazy. I mean, I think if Kobo didn't give 30 last month, we'd still be at 70, which is crazy. Crazy. Anyway, new sub goal. I think our next long-term goal is 120. And I think 120 is a new game. Yeah, 70 is crazy as well. I think... A streamer my size usually has like 20 subs. But once again, thank you to our generous donators and oilers and gifters and primers and regular tier ones. Thank you. Chatters go gamma. Do you think I'll get top three? Dude, I'm literally shaking. I'm so happy. I'm I'm still running up the high of getting two first. Wait, even though I got a second first, that does not mean another gifted for me. No no. Hey yo! Thank you for gifted sub go bobo. I appreciate you. You're gonna get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you. Okay, I'm tryharding. I think we can just screen record the stream and then send it to any pro league and I can easily get on the team, right? Do you guys think I can go pro type one? <laughs> Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. The stupid W meta is so good. I give fuck. No! I didn't dispense in time. I don't think there's any way to dodge the bomb, because I think, like, the flames cover the whole track in terms of width. Guys, we got 30 seconds left in the hype train, too. Screw you, hacker. Come on. Come on. I'm somewhat skilled. I'm not a total pleb. Okay, that was a bad move. Don't tell her what place she's in. I can see what place I'm in. I'm in fourth now. Screw you. Okay, that was dumb. That was DUM. Oh! 
I was like, that guy tried to hit me, but then he missed and then he still got me. <laughs> Cam drowning? Fourth? Third! Holy, I'm cracked. Second? Dude, is today my day? Is the strategy to never play Mario Kart and then play once again? Oh, the hop trains on. Thank you, Chatters. Thank you for participating. We hit a level two with four subs and 200 bits. Thank you, guys. We had Kobobo, Cokes, and Titans, and Mac, and Peace and Underscore Art. Donate. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you all, you guys all get the same emote. Oh, that emote is cute. The sleeping cat. You probably just needed a break, probably. That could be it, actually. Or maybe it's just Mario Kart is a dead game. I am playing midday on a weekday. Dude, second place? We need more gamblers. I mean, gamblers. Not gambling. Gambling is horrible. And bad. <coughs> Me with Beat Saber. <laughs> okay, Chatters, go Gamba. Do you think I'll get top three? I did just get a first and a second. Dude, I'm actually insane. <sighs> You're in the top 1%, no shot. Are you actually a pro? Secret sweat? Oh wait, I've been forgetting to look at what everybody's rank that I'm racing with is. Maybe they could, maybe we're playing with low rank people. That could be it. I bought a VR headset, I get motion sick so I can barely use it. That's kind of how I feel like I'd be. Like I was tempted to buy like a VR headset but then I was like... You know those 360 YouTube videos they used to have when those were popular and popping up? I tried watching a few of them and they made me motion sick. So like, I know if I get a VR headset, I'm gonna yak. So I'm just like, I'm never gonna try it. Cause I don't think I've thrown up since I was like 10. And it, I think throwing up is the worst feeling. I think that's the worst type of sick you can be. You have 200 more points marker than me. Didn't you just start playing Cokes? No way. Dude, why are you throwing a red boy in the back? I think it's funny when people complain about people in like the bottom six using items against each other. But it's like, if I can use one thing to get ahead, I'd rather get 10th than last. So I don't care if I get red shell, it's just annoying to deal with. Like, I, I remember seeing people getting mad, they're like, Why don't you save the red shell for first place? Like, do you genuinely think somebody in eighth place can come back all the way back to second? I don't think so. Oh, this is horrible! <sighs> oh, everybody's somewhat similarly ranked. There's only one person with less than one case. So it's probably new account. Hmm... Damn, I'm sorry. That was a huge L. Have I peaked? Am I never gonna get first again? Have I peaked? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's okay to peak. No! It's not okay, guys. No, I cannot peak now. Have you peaked? <laughs> I don't think anybody knows what the meme is from, but there- I was watching... 
It was Hassan reacting to MasterChef. And, like, in one of the episodes, it was... One of the judges, like, tried their food and it was bad. And they were like, have you peaked? <clears throat> okay, my computer's popping off right now. <laughs> Drug fish out. Yeah, no birds, no drugos. Drugos are bad. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, it popped. I think my computer's updating. That's why the fans are popping off. Uh-oh. I think we're fine. I, pe I peeked when I saw fetus. Huh? What? Huh? What does that mean? What? Huh? Your laptop is always updating? I know, it's fucking stupid! It's annoying! I think it's because, like I said, I think one of my Elgato capture cards is buggy. So whenever I plug it in, it like it's like, oh, your USB ports have to update. And it's been doing that a lot less, but it's been doing it slightly more recently. Oh, come on, I missed him! Top three, though! Top two? No, like, it was weird, because, like, the Alienware pop-up came up. So it's probably, like, a driver thing. But my fans are good now. I think everything's A-okay. <laughs> if only you knew somebody who works with computers. If only. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like asking for help. I feel so awkward. Cause I feel like I waste people's time, that's why I don't talk to people. I don't know, I'm just insecure. Oh, I should help. Wait! Come on, drop it, drop it! Nice try! No, I got another banana! No, you guys see that? Yes, I do have auto-updates disabled, but it still does it! Because it's like an- I have system updates disabled, but Alienware updates still happen sometimes. It's D-U-M. Okay, we both have bananas. They're gonna drop it. Okay, I've dropped it. Double item. Don't you dare throw it behind you. <gasps> no way, my green collided with the red. You thought you could get me? Nice try, bitch. If only you knew somebody who could investigate that! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know those phone scammers? Who are like, You owe the IRS $3,000, but you need to give us remote access to your computer so we can get the money from your bank account. That's what Titan sounds like right now. They sound like they're trying to hack my mainframe. Guys, stop! I have looked at forums, and I don't know what the issue is! Those people are so funny, yeah. <laughs> Titans is a hacker confirmed. Yep. <laughs> yep. Guys, am I actually good at this game? That was another second. I'm like unfazed at this point. A win is a win. It's nor it's my new normal. My grandma trolls phone scammers. My dad does that too. Like, he will have full on conversations. Wait, are we still in sub only chat? Hello, Mao. I forgot to disable it. Oopsie. I'm sorry, non subs. Oopsie. I'm sorry. Nobody reminded me. I forgot we were in sub only chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, non subs. Oopsie. <laughs> totally worth the 800 points. Yeah, because you got it for like nearly... 
three times the length. <laughs> three times the value. Non-subs crying because they can't chat, yeah. Uh, I usually don't thank followers, but we got like a few follows in the past 20 minutes. And I feel bad because they probably thought I only do sub only chat. Now they're probably never gonna chat. Big Sag. Who I could have saved it. <clears throat> yeah, mods keep it up in Titans. I've got 14 what? I don't even have 14 USB drives. Because I think right now I have... I have like 5 or 6 USBs because I, I still have my VOD footage on it. Because surprisingly, stream footage is a lot of memory space. A whole stream of someone redeeming someone each chat every five minutes? No, I don't. People can't do that. I think it's timed out for an hour. I don't think... I don't think people can just keep spamming. I know how you guys think. I'm not D-U-M. I'm a troll myself. Dude, I'm in ninth. I'm in ninth. I hate this track. Do you guys think I'll ever get top three in my in my tournaments again? I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. You're saying all these things, Titans, and I don't know what they are. <laughs> Little Nas eggs, yeah, let's get Little Nas in the house. Dude, that, that'd go crazy. Imagine. You stole the win from me? That's because you showed up late. It's not my fault you showed up late. When you had Apple time. Thank you, Nix. Thank you. Does internet cancer count? I feel like Twitch chat... Nope. <laughs> I feel like streaming ruins your mental health. Like, if you just look at, like, the big streamers, they're probably, like, so messed up. Because, like, all their validation comes from streaming and online culture and influence. That's why I'm like, I wouldn't mind staying small forever. You know, if I can maybe one day be a little partnered streamer, that'd be cool. But I don't, I don't want to be like a one candy. I think that'd be crazy. Because just imagine having 1,000 people watch you, that's like a small crowd. Or not a small crowd, that's like somebody giving a speech in front of their city every day. A small town, rather. Like, imagine how much pressure that is. I know when compared to, like, the bigger streamers, 1k is not a lot, but a thousand is still enormous. Dude, I did- I think I blasted that red. Be a 999 Andy then? That could work. Uh, Nyx, let's not tell people to get therapy. Kinda cringe. Fuck! I'm told. 
I don't know what I'd say to that many people. I think if you're streaming, it's very easy to disassociate and not think that it's a thousand people because you're just looking at a screen. Like, your chat room is a, a number. It's a it's a count of how many screens are, or how many people on screens are watching you. That's why it's, I think it's a lot easier to conceptualize that. Guys, I've held second this whole race. Never mind, it's over. You'd be imagining a thousand people in your head? I don't do that. Um, I think the highest viewer I ever had in a stream was 25. And that was during Mario Kart. And like, obviously I don't pay as much attention to my screen when I'm playing Mario Kart. Because I'm actually tryharding, right? But I was like, damn. 25 people, that's crazy. Not to break the rules, but yeah. The only feel share only share what you feel comfortable with and also will make sure other chatters boundaries are respected. But the best advice anybody can give you is to seek professional counseling. That we can get a professional's advice on how to self-regulate and face your problems. Anyway, back to Mario Kart. I got fifth. I got fifth. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Chat is unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't like about chat room sometimes, is that... Oh, what's like the nice way of saying it? You see this a lot in like bigger streams as well. Where so many people feel like they need to insert their own opinion. When the opinion is not necessarily asked for. Like for example, if somebody is doing like a really big plan stream. And like people are criticizing like really minute things that don't really matter. Um... <laughs> yeah, it, it's like when you have so many different opinions being like blasted at you in a chat, I can see how it's very detrimental. <gasps> Hi, Azur, welcome in, people. Hey, can we get some peace? I to yo's for first time chat at Azur. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Nix. But like I said, always seek out professional help if you need it. Or even if you feel like you don't need it. If you could learn a single language in an instant, what would it be? I think I would have to choose a language that I don't know like the characters of. Like, I've been wanting to learn Korean. Because, you know, I watch all my K-dramas. <laughs> and I was like, imagine if I knew the language. I feel like it'd be so much more enjoyable to watch. But I don't like the idea of like learning a whole new character language. That's that's a bit much for me. Cause my mom, she's been she's been trying to get me to like learn Duolingo or download it and learn a language. And cause she's learning Chinese right now. So like it's a whole another character you have to learn. That's why like when I was in high school I chose Spanish because like it uses basically the same English alphabet. And I feel like most workplaces will compensate you a bit more if you're proficient in Spanish as well. She here got it, boss. I just realized I'm a sub. Yeah, you got lucky. You got a gifted. Usually gifted subs goes out to randos. Oh no! Dude, that was horrible. That was horrible. Usually they go to recent followers or people who lurk regularly, so... But enjoy your emotes! Fuck me, dude! I fell off. Dude, I have what, third? Yeah, I think it's very unfortunate to see um, people who immigrate to America and then kind of like... Not ignore, but kind of like shy away from their initial heritage and culture once they immigrate. I mean, I understand the sentiment to where they want to like... 
assimilate to American culture, but it feels sad whenever they shy away from their like upbringings in that way. Like me personally, um, I'm I'm technically fourth generation, so I don't have any like no, I don't have any like lived experience or been able to talk to anybody who was like actually lived in Japan. Um, but I wish I was able to hear those stories. <laughs> you missed the peace I do evil smile meta. That was a good meta. <laughs> that was a good meta. <laughs> Should we bring it back? Man, you guys are chatting up a store now. Sheesh. Dude, I don't like any of these tracks. Dragon Driftway is the least bad, I guess. Yeah, I know Japan just opened. I saw that as well. You might go on a trip with your mom. Ooh, that sounds fun. I know my sister and I, we want to go to California next summer. Or whenever um, Nintendo Land opens up. Because that, that's the dream. Like, we've been watching so many, like, YouTube vloggers go to Nintendo World in Japan. And we are so excited. <laughs> I love smiling. I don't, yeah. I don't think hackers ever participate in the smile meta. Um, we're currently not playing with viewers, but... Azure, um, we do do a monthly Mario Kart tournament at the end of the month, where if you get top three, you get VIP, but for normal Mario Kart streams, it's just me playing. Did you see the thing about the foam pit? Yes. It, <laughs> it's obvious, it's obvious negligence on both the vendors and the convention. It's very unfortunate that people got hurt. But it's not their fault that they got hurt. But oh, first place, baby! The bump it is back-breaking fun! No better way to put it! <laughs> I'm just curious if you ever be a TwitchCon frog. No, I think... I feel like a lot of the booths at TwitchCon are just big corpa. Or like just ads. Like, I think it's cool when, like, streamers are at their merch booths. I think that's cool. But otherwise, it just seems like Big Corp is having booths. Like, I would love to meet my favorite streamers, but then it's, like, hard to not... Like, think about, like, how all the illness that spreads at any convention, not necessarily just, uh, COVID-19. Chad, while we talk about it, make sure you're boosted, make sure you're vaccinated. I literally just got my flu booster yesterday. And I feel great. What's nice is that I literally have never experienced any side effects from basically any vaccine. Um, the, the most I'll feel is just fatigue. No! I knew I was gonna get boomed. Oh, thank you, Zara. Thank you for redeeming. We'll do that at the end of stream for you, hun. But thank you. Got a cold from Comic-Con? Oof. Oof. Thankfully, because I went to Comic-Con... Yeah, about a month ago, September... <laughs> oh, this is September 11th, because it was it ran from the 9th to the 11th. And I wasn't sick at all. I was really lucky. You know why? Because I don't think vaccination was required, but they required um, masking the whole time, and most everyone respected that rule, so that was really good. Huh! So I wore my mask the whole time, I tried to stay away from people as much as I could, and I didn't get sick. Imagine! Who knew vaccination and masking actually worked? Guys, I'm joking. Make sure you get your fucking vaccines. Would you ever go to VidCon? No. Wasn't VidCon, like, canceled? <laughs> they were like, we're not gonna do it anymore. No, I feel like it's a similar thing where the whole thing concerning, like, VidCon, TwitchCon, is the people- the reason why people like streamers is because they like the personalities. Not necessarily everything else. It's the community that makes everything! No, I don't think it, they had a creator summit where they invited top creators, not VidCon. <sighs> Dude, I had third. I literally had third and I I threw. I threw.
I'm really mad. Vaccines made you what you are today? Good. I think it's quite silly when people deny medical evidence. Yeah, I don't think I could ever go to like a mass gathering or a con by myself. Like even just being in a new area, like a new city or a new state scares me. We shall accompany you. Yeah, just have Twitch chat open and we'll, we'll be with you. <laughs> There's nine people. I understand people have their own lived experience, but generally vaccines protect your whole community. That's all I will say. Everybody has the right to... How they live their life. But I will always advocate for something that promotes the greater good for everybody in society. Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> students how are your class is going <laughs> mine are going okay I'm still on break so my classes start in two weeks I think no I, I understand it is or it's fine it's just like I I can't have anything that alludes to like anti-vax rhetorics like I understand that people have their lived experience but like the, the thing is I don't want a twitch star to be like hey you didn't delete that message. So don't worry about it. Like I said, I think everybody has their own lived experience. But I just have to make sure I don't promote any form of rhetoric that alludes to, like, anti-vax shit. So I think the best thing I can say in your case is you got lucky. You got fucking lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I got fourth. I got fourth. God damn. I'm at school and I don't want to talk about school. It hurts. <laughs> yeah, Titans, don't be self reporting. Don't be self reporting. Ooh. Let's do Mott Warrior. Okay, Chatters, you probably got about 10 more minutes of Mario Kart, and then we're gonna switch gears to Animal Crossing. Wait, I have to upload a TikTok. <laughs> Oopsie. The soft hard drives? What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? The fuck is a soft hard drive? <laughs> Is 17 your lucky number? Yeah, it kind of is. Wait, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna tell the story in a second. I think I told the story before. Um, but back in elementary, you know how when they put your like class list in alphabetical order? For like three years in a row, my number in class was 17. 
So I was like, this has to be a sign. This has to be my lucky number. Whenever I think of the number 17, I think of like, remember the YouTuber Strawberry17? And that was her alias? Like, I didn't watch her stuff at all, but I remember seeing like her videos recommended to me and reading her username and be like, oh. <laughs> I'm not a fan, I just like the number 17. Yours is 12? Ah, uh, I live at, I live in Washington, so like the Seahawks, the Seahawks 12. Screw anybody who's throwing fire behind them. They are a bad player. I was gonna say a bad friend, but a bad player. They're not my friends. If you throw fire behind you, you're guaranteed to be not my friend. Oh my god, Joey Graceffa! Oh my god, I haven't thought about him in a long time. Oh my god, like the OG YouTubers? Holy, I don't watch a lot of YouTube content anymore, but... I think my favorites had to be like, Niga Higa. Of course, PewDiePie, Mark, and Jack, of course. I think most of the YouTube videos I watch now are just stream highlights. I don't watch a lot of, like, YouTubers. No! That was a mistake! I was trying to go for a cut. friend who watched so much Jenna Marbles that her personality was Jenna Marbles. Like, it's weird. And I didn't realize it till like, after, like, we kind of grew up. I was like, oh my god, she literally just acts like Jenna. Okay, chatters. I think we have DK Jungle. Best track. First place guaranteed. We got time for three more races. I think Ryan Higa occasionally streams. Like, I'll sometimes see him I recommend him and he's playing like Valor or something. I got so parasocially attached, it's bad. Yeah, chatters. This is why, like, I know when I was in, like, high school and middle school, like, I grew so attached to, like, creators, like, streamers. No, not streamers, YouTubers and stuff. But then once I graduated, I was like, you know, I still spend as just much time online, but I still need to, like, invest time into, like, the actual people in my life that's kind of how i fell out of fandom culture because i was also into like like i was really into like fan communities for like anime and um <clears throat> like <laughs> i was like really into hayaku and stuff but oh did you join two weeks ago? Oh no. I'm sorry, Azor. It I'm sorry, honey. If that was you, I'm sorry. Cause like we've had stream snipers before, meaning we had come people we had people come to the island and like ruin everybody else's fun. That's why it was sub only, so I'm sorry. I feel bad because like I, I'm I'm kinda firm with my rules. Um because like if you let one thing slide, then it's gonna be okay for everyone, right? Then then if one person acts out, then other people will act out over time. So like I'm very firm with shit. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt bad because like obviously since since it was a subway stream, like the person you assuming couldn't chat or anything. So I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I wish that Twitch would make it so sub-only streams weren't viewable by non-subs. I think that would make a lot more sense. Like, they could still see that you're live, but they can't watch the stream at all. I think that'd be a better way to do it. I understand the reason why they have, like, the free previews. It's so a non-sub who's happened to watch will probably maybe subscribe, but I don't think many people do anyway. You didn't know there was- it's okay, it's okay. It happens. <laughs> As long as there's, like, no malintent with stream sniping, it's fine. 
Because the one time we did have a sniper come in an Animal Crossing, I did ban them. So they can't play with me online anymore at all. Because there is a way to block people. Fuck me, dude. There's a way to block people with Nintendo Online. Um, but the- because, like, I had items laid out on the ground for people to, like, pick up when they came to the island. So they essentially, like, picked up everything and stole it and, like, left. And I tried not to say anything, but it, I could still see them running around and, like, stealing shit. And it's like, damn. But I'm also like, that was my first stream, Sniper! <laughs> That's Yeah, that was a good fun stream, the cooking one. Yes. On Sunday, we're doing a subscriber-only Meg Esports Mario Party tournament. So if you want a chance at earning VIP, just make sure you're a sub and have Mario Party Superstars. Okay, we're gonna do one more race. Let's make it a good one. Okay, chatters, since this is gonna be our last prediction of the day, I want everybody to go all in on your predictions. If you're a believer, go all in. If you're a doubter, go all in, okay? Handshakes. <clears throat> this month flew by. I mean, it's only October 11th. It's been like a week and a few days. I'll drop all 88k. Do it. Do it, bitch. Do it. Put your money where your mouth is. Wait, on which side, though? Ooh, 7k in doubt? Okay, honestly... This is a bad track for me. Megan's bullying me? No, you literally said I'll drop all 88k. You're literally lying. Okay, I'm gonna try hard. No way to distract me. Oh, my lines are horrible. Good man or good guy, they threw it in front of them. No, I have zero right now. No cap. Wait, how am I in last? Dude, I literally had second. I looked away for a second, and I fell. I fell off. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. For the believers. That was bad. That that one mistake probably cost me the race. Anybody want to gamble again? Let's do one more. We'll do one more. I need to redeem myself. No, Azor, don't worry about it. You're fine. We weren't talking shit. We weren't talking shit. You're fine. We were just like, how did they get in? <laughs> we were like, huh? Okay, anyway, chatters, if you want to see the final race, I gotta do a subscribe. Um... 
because it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. We're two minutes in. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your skip your coffee ad for being almost blocked. Um, after this ad, we're going to do one final race for the gamblers. And we're going to switch gears to Animal Crossing. So if you like just chatting, more chill vibes, stick around. Anyway, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Chatters go gambit. Do you think I will win? Oops, I didn't do the ad. Okay, chatters go gambit, go gambit, go gambit. Go gambit. Aw, oh, thank you, Cokes. Cokes doing gam <laughs> Cokes doing damage control right now. Hey, chatters, go gambit, go all in again, go all in again, please. I'm gonna win this time. I promise. Okay, I'm holding onto the green for protection purposes only. See, look, I clapped him. Third, a yo. Which guy put the banana in the double item box where I physically couldn't even see it? Dude, you maybe lose 5k. That's because you chose the wrong decision. Damn it. <laughs> Are you playing Animal Crossing right now? Oh, cute. It'll almost be like we're playing together. You know, I said you should play Animal Crossing every day during the month of October that we can buy candy in order for the Halloween event. I haven't played Animal Crossing in like three days. Oopsie. So I'm missing out on the Halloween decorations as well. You guys need to remind me to do it. Dude, I fell off. Okay, I got a star. That's somewhat decent. Not that far behind, but the people in first and second are incredibly ahead. I drifted the wrong way. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. You know, everything has to come full circle. I got like two first place today. I got a good handful of seconds. Put those ones and twos together. I get 12. <laughs> okay, let's get ready for Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, damn. At least the point margin wasn't as drastic. I did not rage quit. I said that was going to be my last game. I should have just ended on the previous game. That was despicable. Despicable. Okay, I'm going to change out the game charger so chatters hold. Also, while you guys are waiting, I just uploaded a new TikTok. Ooh. 
So go like it, go leave a comment. I'm now ch the chatter chat chatters who gambled today. How many channel points do you guys have now? Please tell me you didn't gamble them all. That'd be really bad. <clears throat> From 17 to 12? That isn't that bad. You still got 12k. It's not that bad. Okay, what title should we do? We haven't played Animal Crossing in a while as well. We gotta think of a good title. Where are those Pikachu flowers from? These are just fall florals from Walmart. Oh, heads or tails? Did you ask me? Did I miss it? I'm sorry, Mike. Um, heads. What is a good title? Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. What is a good title? What is something funny? I like putting like hyperboles, you know, like the best, the worst. Wait, how do you spell simultaneously? That's a big, it's a big kid word. Si simultaneously. Oh, that's a long word. S i m u l t a n e. Oh fuck. M a. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, it looks like I'm not getting a tattoo next week? Cool. Save some money, man. Chatters, what do you guys think of my new title? Is it good? Is it funny? It feels like cat scratches. I don't like when cats scratch me, though. How is that going to convince me? Simultaneously playing Animal Crossing? That could also work. <clears throat> I want to get away my mom's out of time back. Okay, that... No, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. You know, my sister got her ears pierced when my dad was out of town. And he was mad. Don't do things behind people's backs. It's gonna create like an unnecessary confrontation i like making her mad okay mac that is toxic that is very bad <clears throat> okay hello there everyone right now in Timbaland, it is 104 p.m on tuesday october 11th 2022 oh someone recently asked me for advice and i thought it would be a, a good idea to share it with everyone they wanted to know what to do if they found somebody passed out on the beach. If that happens, speak to them to make sure they're okay. Do it several times if necessary. Be persistent. Then offer to help with anything they need. We all must do our part to keep this island safe. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Oh, okay, as long as she supports it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's funny. In a playful way, it's a game we play to make each other mad. <laughs> Copium. Oh yeah, I have my first spooky fit on for the month. A dark dress. This nice fancy hat. It looks like I'm going to a funeral. Talking about funerals. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see what I want to do today. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait, I need to go buy some candy. Meg buried Aurora confirmed. No, just because we haven't found her yet doesn't mean I did anything to her. Or did anything to make her not want to come to the island? Dude, a cassette player? I haven't seen one of these in ages. My dad's car does have a cassette player in it. Cassette player in it. Gotta go? Okay, no problem. Thank you for hanging out today, Azor. Had fun chatting. Hope you have a good day. We'll see you next time. Oh, you guys are so cute saying bye. You guys are adorable. Now, I know I said we're going to do a pumpkin decorating stream at the end of the month, but I decided we're going to paint pumpkins. We're not going to cut pumpkins. I don't trust myself with any form of blunt object. I know most of, like, the carving tools are pretty harmless, but still, I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, I don't think I can ever see myself getting a tattoo. Because I don't like the idea of, like, permanently or semi-permanently altering myself. Like, I'm not spiritual. Like, I'm, I don't... Like... I don't value the sanct the sanctity of my body. Like, I don't care. But it's just, like, I don't like the... I don't like the idea of permanence. That's why I don't think I could ever get, like, any type of surgery. Or, like, cosmetic surgery, rather. Decorating a pumpkin pie? Dude, okay, I could do that. Let's write that down. Well, then I can practice, like, my icing skills. Yeah, I agree. I think people who have, like, tattoos and piercings are cool. Like, the aesthetic is really cool, but it's just, like, I don't think I could commit to something that long. I know, kind of controversial, but I think pumpkin pie is one of my favorite types of pie. I like how it's kind of, like, mushy. Because I feel like most fruit pies, like, they're overly sweet, but pumpkin pie isn't crazy sweet. And it has whipped cream on it. Ooh, having, like, pumpkin pie with, like, a vanilla bean ice cream. Ooh, that's always good, too. Coconut custard? I've never heard of that, but that sounds amazing. Cool whip. <laughs> cool whip. <laughs> Pecan- I've never had pecan pie and I don't have the desire to try a pecan pie. You're only making me hungry? That's the goal. I was like this close to like ordering lunch before stream started. I was like, I kind of want McDonald's or Wendy's today. But I was like, no, I'm gonna restrain myself. I have to wait till Friday. Oh wait, we're gonna do dino nuggies. <laughs> Should we should, should we do the Dino Nuggies on Sunday stream? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna go grocery shopping with my friend on Saturday, and I'm like, I need to get Dino Nuggies. You and your sister are saving money. Shut up. My sister just got a raise like last week. She now makes two more dollars an hour. And to celebrate, she went out to eat with lunch for a friend. 
Because she's like, I'm making two more dollars an hour now. I can afford to eat out now. <laughs> so, claps and chat for her. That's good. Yeah. I was really happy. I was like, damn. That, it was a huge raise. It was a very good raise. I mean, she's been with the company for a little over a year. Like, she works in a warehouse. Her accuracy... She, she packages orders and boxes and that type of thing. She's only messed up, no joke, only three orders. Isn't that crazy? And, like, she's pretty fast with her work as well. Now like she's cracked. Yeah, so I'm proud of her. <laughs> Sisters, no. <laughs> Consume? What? <laughs> what are these new fandangle terms you zoomers are using? I don't know what the half of what you guys are saying most of the time. Oldest debates of time, which is better, cats or dogs? But I'm a proud cat defender because I am in no need for attention all the time, and I don't think I could give attention all the time either. You know, cats are usually pretty chill, and if they like you, they really like you because you know how, like, a, a cat has a favorite family member in the household. Well, like, even when I go to, like, friends' houses, the cats would always gravitate towards me. <laughs> she ate my direct deposit? What? You guys role-playing again? What? Huh? Wait, I have an idea for the Dino Nuggets segment. I get all types of sauces and dips, and then we rank the sauces. Should, should I just do, like, a one-off stream of that? We can do that on set- wait, no, I'm- Wait. Because I'm going out Saturday morning or afternoon, I think. Maybe when I get back? When the UPS comes from payroll, I don't understand its existence. Yeah, I think it's weird- not getting a direct deposit. Because, like, sometimes... Like, they're supposed to be... I remember when I used to work at the pizza place. Um, like, UPS would... Should be there by, like, 2 p.m. on payday to deliver it. But sometimes they would get there late. So it's just, like... I remember a few co-workers would have to, like, leave work at 2. And then they have to come back in the evening to get their check. I think that's silly. I don't understand why people don't opt for a direct deposit. I don't get it. Like, I can understand, like, we can still request a pay stub, you can still print it out, but, like, direct deposit is the way to go. It's not like there's any service fees. I hate when families give physical checks over money. I don't mind it, really. 
I think it's kind of cute to see the different types of checks people use. Because you know how you can get, like, custom ones? <laughs> I think one family member had, like, a family picture as, like, their check background. <laughs> like, my grandma, she's still on my parents' phone bill. So my grandma, she writes my parents a $25 check every month to pay for her part of the phone bill. And it's really cute and endearing. And my mom's always like, you know, you don't have to pay us every month. But my grandma's like, no, no, it's fine. She's like... I want to pay it. It's like, okay. I mean, checks are definitely super inconvenient because I can't drive. So back when I used to get checks for work, um, I would have to do mobile deposits. And it sucks when you can't get your money right away. So if I have the opportunity to opt in for a direct deposit, I always go for it. Oh, the people who use checks at the checkout counter, I don't get it. It's like, why? Why? I think we should abolish physical money as well. The one thing I did like about Pandemic when I was working in service, like, we, did, we didn't use cash for like a month because it was hard to get change from the banks. So we just did car transactions and it was great. Because, like, I just hate touching money as well. I mean, it's disgusting. Card only is also no math. Exactly. Oh my god. The worst thing is when... Let, let's say, for example, their total is like 419. And then you type in the computer that the person gives you like $5. But then like, wait, I have change. And then they give you the change amount to round it up to like $5. Or to get the exact change amount. So then you have to like whip out a calculator to figure out the change. Even if you do it in your head. I feel like people do that to throw you off. Like, I think they try and see it as a kind gesture, like, oh, I'm giving you exact change, but it's still, like, an inconvenience, because, like, on the computer, it's going to say a different thing. And I know some companies are, like, really aggro when they see you, like, take out more money than you're supposed to or keep the till open for too long. Um, I know wherever I work, they didn't care too much, but I know some companies do not like when you, like, give the customer back a different amount than what's on their receipt. Um... But those people were so annoying. I, I, I think they thought it was a good thing to do. But if you've never worked behind a till, you don't understand. You tell them you can't take it? I wish I could, but like... It's hard to like deny people when you got like five other people in line waiting behind them, you know? You've never been able to go back once the till opens? The only time I use cash nowadays is the tip people. I always pay with card and then if I have cash, I'll tip in cash. Because I know when customers see like a half full tip jar, they're more inclined to tip themselves. And if you're tipping on the actual like POS screen, it's so easy for people to skip it. Oh, whenever I do tip on a POS, I usually tip the highest amount. It's either like $5 or the highest amount if it's like under like a $10 purchase. <laughs> yeah, Nick, stop self-reporting. <laughs> And everything. Yes, I have. I usually tip 20%. Good guy right there. Good guy. And I usually, if I go to like a sit down restaurant, I tip 20 bucks no matter how much the total is. Because in my head, if there's like maybe 
10 people working, then every person gets $2, depending on how they split the tips. Because I would never go out to eat or get delivery if I can't afford to tip the person. That's kind of how I go through things now. Because I understand that some workplaces, um, people who work in service don't necessarily get an hourly wage. They still re rely on their tips for income. So I hate when people are like, oh, they don't deserve a tip. But it's like some people will rely on it. And the only reason why they need to rely on their tips for income is because the average hourly wage is not sufficient to support their normal lives. I never know what to tip. Um, my rule of thumb is, is if it's like a, like a fast food place, like a Starbucks or a Subway, I usually put $1 per person. But if it's like a restaurant, I will tip $20 no matter, like a sit down place. I usually will tip $20 no matter what. I mean, people usually do like 10%. 10 to 20 is usually like a good tip rate. Every time I see them, I think it's Aurora and I get excited. Because see how they have a pink shirt on? I think it's Aurora's red sweater and I get excited, but it's not her. That's too much math. Then just tip $20 for everywhere you go then. Easy. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seafood salad? <laughs> Tips more than I spend. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'll do that. Like, if I have, if I buy a drink from Starbucks and I'm able to tip, like, $10, I'll tip $10. And that's only if I have cash. Because, like, on the Starbucks app, like, if you do a pickup order, I think the most you can tip is $5 per order. So, so, <clears throat> so sometimes... If I'm getting a drink and then, like, a pastry, I'll order them separately. That way I can tip $5 in each order. Oh, like, even if the worker's rude, I still tip. I still tip. Um, I think you can only tip Starbucks people if they have, like, a cash jar or if you order through the mobile app. I know some locations don't allow tips, like, i.e., the Starbucks that are inside like Safeways or Fred Meyers because they're technically like Safeway or Fred Meyer workers. Like they aren't Starbucks employees. It's weird. Um, but even if a worker is rude, I still tip. I don't, I don't care. Because I don't, when I tip, I know that they split the tips between everybody, hopefully in the workplace, right? So just because one worker is rude, I don't feel like everybody else working doesn't deserve a tip. I tip 30% at a boba place because they're always nice to me. Easy. Easy. See, that's what we do. We are extra nice. That way we can farm more tips. Do you tip fast food workers? Yeah, anytime I see a tip jar, I usually put money in. I don't care. Because I worked in fast food. I worked at a Subway and then a pizza chain. Which I consider those two fast food. So I, I tip everywhere if they have a tip option. I always do it. Because I tip because I know that it'll make the worker's day a little bit better. Like, if you worked any type of service job, like, if you have a work day where you make, like, $20 in tips, you're like, whoa, I can buy myself, like, food for lunch instead of packing tomorrow. Because, like, I think tipping is an action you do to to better other people not to make yourself feel good i refuse to tip at the self-serve place i don't think wait oh there's like a yogurt shop like a frozen yogurt shop near me like the last time we went my sister bought and she didn't tip and i got so mad at her because like it was self-serve froyo 
But I think we got yogurt and then we got like a cookie. And I remember asking the worker, I was like, oh, what do you recommend from like the prepackaged pastries? And she's like, oh, I recommend this. And I was like, I'll get that and a cookie. So like I talked to her for a little bit and like the worker like was really nice and gave me like a nice recommendation. Like she went above and beyond. But the answer to my question, right? And when I saw my sister check out, because she had one of like those, um, what's it called? Those card readers, those white ones. And my sister checked out. She just skipped the, the tip screen. She just skipped it. Dude, I was mad. I didn't say anything until like we left the store. I was like, why did you not leave a tip? And my sister was like, she looked like a high schooler. I'm like, that doesn't matter. She was super nice and she was cute as well. Why did you not leave her a tip? And she's like, I just spent $50 on groceries. I can't afford it. I'm like, if you can afford to get a treat, you can afford to leave a tip. And she's like, true. And ever since then, she always gives a decent sized tip because of me. What if she was in high school? She probably was, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, they're still doing the same job an adult would do if they are working the counter, right? Only leave tips if they're cute. That's not what I said, but it definitely is helpful, right? I'd be getting no tips. No, Mac, you're cute. All my chatters are cute. Teaching your sister life lessons? Exactly. That's what the older sister is supposed to do. I've seen, like, a couple TikToks from service workers, like, waitresses, say, like, if you wear your hair up in, like, a ponytail or, like, a messy bun, they usually get more tips because it makes you look like a relatable person. Isn't that kind of weird? I mean, I never did that because since I was handling food, you kind of have to, like, have your hair, like, tightly tied back. So I, w I always wore, like, a either, like, a loose bun like today or, like, a really tight one. But I got a lot of tips because I was really good at my job. I do tip to funny people. See, chatters, chatters. Imagine me, your favorite streamer. <laughs> um, simultaneously the best ever streamer to ever live. Working at the subway counter. Imagine how charismatic I would be. Okay, chatters, be honest, be honest. If I was making your sandwich, how, how much of a tip would you give me? Would you give me, like, a dollar? Five dollars? Hmm... And, like, I made the best Subway sandwich you've ever had in your life. Because I was really good at my job. I was really good. I was also really quick. Like, my make times were, like, not even a minute. The only time it would take longer than a minute is if I had to toast the sandwich. I tip you a gifted? No. <laughs> in this scenario, I'm not a streamer. <laughs> $30? $1? $1? yo. Dude, I think the largest tip I've gotten from one person was $20. But I had to split it, so I got $10 technically. <laughs> Drops a $5 bill next max, so it isn't considered a tip. Ayo. You're supposed to tip at Subway? Um, some locations have it integrated on their POS. Some just have like a little jar. We're not supposed to say it's a tip jar, we just happen to have a container by the register. Because different franchisees have different rules. Because, like, if they take it through POS, they have to take it out of your... Like, it's, like, taxable on your paycheck. That's why a lot of locations, you just happen to see, like, a little container by the register. I don't think it's more so that you're supposed to tip service workers or, like, fast food workers. It's just there's an option to if you want to. Do you get in trouble if you take the money? Sag. Oh, that's interesting. Your local location on tipping integrated? That's good. I know ours that I worked at didn't, so... <gasps> Nyx! Don't self-report! Imagine Nyx's managers are watching. <gasps> Peace, I too gasp. I think the best part about getting tips was, like, counting the money. <laughs> At the end of every week. Because, like, I would just, like, toss my bills and coins into my dresser. But I love counting money. I love stacking the coins. I like rubber banding the bills. 
because when I was working at the pizza place, I think, because I worked front counter, so, like, I, um, did carryout orders, I did, um, like, curbside deliveries, so I got, because only people who got tips at the pizza place I worked at were people who did register and then delivery drivers, so cooks did not get any tips, and I felt bad, and I couldn't necessarily share my tips with them, because since it was through the POS system, um, if I gave my tips away, then I would be missing out on money, because I get taxed on it. But I think I would make an average of like $50 a week through tips. And that's only doing carry orders. Like drivers make like one to 200 every week through tips. Some people make like $50 a night, depending on how many like deliveries they did. Yeah, if I didn't take a quarter, I would have been in big trouble. <laughs> I know. I know some companies are a bit more aggro with their tills. I know our franchisee wasn't too upset. Wait, I just noticed there's like little strings in the back of the dress. But you guys probably can't really see it, but there's there's like a little like back string and a bow. It's because it was somebody left without taking the change. Do you have to put it back in the drawer, though? Because, like, what we used to do is, like, we had, like, our little, like, container that was a tip jar. And then, um, we would also have, like, a little cup of change, like, next to the register. That way, if somebody didn't, if they, if they just needed a penny, we would give them a penny. Want to hear a secret? <laughs> yeah, that's how our till was as well. Only managers or during a transaction the till would open. Man, Nix, why are you sharing industry secrets? like impossible chicken dino nuggets is that a thing I feel like they wouldn't taste good though Yeast is <laughs> fuck. Let me try again. Plant based meat. I can't talk. I can't talk. Plant based meat is so good. Beyond meat is, is so good. I've had a few like impossible meat like substitutions. I think my favorite has to be Starbucks impossible sausage breakfast sandwich. I think that's my favorite. I've tried a few others and they're fine. Like, I think I had the impossible whopper from Burger King. But I think a lot of it, you have to go into the expectation that it's not going to taste like meat. Like, it's never going to have the same texture, so like it's totally fine if it's not the same. I just wish there was cheaper, like, meat substitution options. Like, I would buy more and try some from the grocery store, but they're usually, like, sometimes twice as much as, like, the regular meat option. That's like kind of similar to how a lot of um, veggies and produce is higher price point than like the canned stuff. I feel like people would be more accepting and open to trying impossible meat options if they were lower price point.
Meg is a veggie lover? No. I hate vegetables, but like a veggie burger is pretty good. <clears throat> you don't like red meat? My sister's kind of the same, but she likes steak as long as it's cooked a certain way. I think the only protein I don't like is pork. Like, I, I don't like pork chops. But I do like bacon. Bacon is good. I'm a well done type of person. Oh, no. See, like, I either like a medium rare or a medium well. I don't like when there's too much pink. A little pink is fine, but too much is a bit much for me. My dad is a this rabbit food type of person, so it's funny when I trick them into eating fake meat. I think that's a good wholesome prank. <laughs> Dude, I remember I went to I went to Applebee's with my friend. This was a while ago. And I've never gone to like a nice steak place. I don't think they have either. Because my friend was like, oh my god, we need to go to Applebee's. Their steaks are amazing. And I'm like, okay. So I ordered a medium well, but then it became well done. And then they ordered like a medium rare, and it was medium rare. And it was so bad. <laughs> I mean, it was fine, but the steak was so tough. Probably because I, I accidentally ordered a, a well done. But the only thing good about the steak was like the sauce. Because I got- I think I got a mushroom cream sauce. Otherwise, it was not good. <laughs> it was expensive, too. It was like $20 for a steak. Insane. Yeah, I don't get the people who get, like, an undercooked burger. I feel like... Because, like, ground meat, it's obviously processed. But, like, a steak, it's, like, cut right off the cow. So I feel like it's... It'd be easier for it to be, like, refrigerated properly after it's been, like... Um, cut, I guess is the way to say it. Butchered, butchered. But like a burger. No, I, I would never get a burger not fully cooked. <laughs> you eat the barbecue coals? No, but that's part of the texture. It's called flavor. What do you guys think about raw fish? I used to like not like the idea of eating sushi at all, but now it's my favorite. I think it just took me a while to get used to the texture of raw fish. The other day when my sister came into my room during stream, cause she bought my mom, or she bought, yeah, my mom and herself lunch. <laughs> they didn't get anything for me, so my sister gave me like four pieces of sushi. And I asked her, I was like, were there any more left? She's like, no. I look in the fridge, there's two whole rolls left. S M H gave me four slices when she had two full rows left for herself. Whenever I get food, I always get food for my sister because she likes getting little treats, and now she does the same for me. <clears throat> I've never had raw fish is it as slimy as it seems. Um, not really. It just has to be prepared well. It, like, even though it looks slimy, it still has, like, a little bit of bite to it. Dude, I want to get food so bad, but I don't need it. I don't need it. I almost said a bad joke. <laughs> Nyx is doing what I do where I'm like, wait, I have a joke, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Literally stealing my bits. Dude, should we do like a... <laughs> no. I was gonna say, should we do an, a rated R stream? But that sounds really... 
<laughs> Bod check Twitch stuff. I was joking. I am joking. It's called comedy. <laughs> I'm trolling. I jokingly say Twitch stuff. I'm trolling or Twitch stuff. Magic. Well, what if somebody's actually watching? What if somebody's secretly a staffer and they're just lurking? I get so scared. R-rated is fine, just don't say 18 plus. Oh yeah, because R-rated movies can be like murder movies. Right? Oh, not saying we would do that on stream. It'd be in a game, of course. See, loopholes. Good job, Next. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> We're just gonna do a little fake little horror movie. to the lamp right in our edition <laughs> okay I think oh spud hey spud would you um come over to my house I want to talk oh my god are they gonna confess but I mean I want to talk while surrounded by all my own furniture no, I fucking hate hanging out. Okay, you know, I don't mind rejecting people now. You know, I value my own time. If I don't want to talk to you, I'm not going to talk to you. Okay, I guess I'll just go talk to my furniture, even if my couch thinks I'm boring. <laughs> okay, I want to do a little bit of fishing, and then we can do you love, you lose. Because I don't think I've caught any of the seasonal or the October creature critters yet. They just want pity? Exactly. You know, I don't like to entertain people who try to pity farm or garner sympathy. Very fake. See... Y your joke, Mac, didn't even make sense. Nice try. Go back to the drawing board. I felt the urge. You know you know how I get one your mom joke every stream? Max gets one these nuts joke every stream. But only one. Oh my god. Oh, also, some chatters may have noticed. I disabled the I will make a sketch card channel redemption. Because I feel like since we're doing art once or twice a week, I kind of want to pause on doing the sketch cards. Mainly so I don't overwork my hands too much. Because, like, holding the controller is a lot easier on my hands, I've noticed. Because after stream last night and the first painting stream we did, like, my hands were starting to, like, freeze up. So, on days where we don't do art, I feel like I need to rest my hands. Because, like, holding the controller is a lot easier. Like, it only really hurts my palms. Which isn't as bad as my fingers, so... But don't worry, sketch card redemption will come back.
Guys, I can't wait until we can maybe move out. Like I said, it's probably gonna be like either end of this week or next week when the rental agreement will be drafted or finished drafting. But I'm excited. I am really hope it works out. Ooh, a recipe. Got it. Ooh. Yeah, party stream. So proud of you. Thank you. I mean, I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> oh, wait, why did I press the button? I didn't. We're not quitting just yet. Okay, we throw a house party. I mean, what would we do? Wait, we could do mukbang. I can pretend we do a potluck and I just make a fuck ton of food. Getting kicked out stream. <laughs> Dude, that title would go crazy. Going home? Okay, we'll see you in a bit, Mac. But I, I genuinely hope it works out. Because like I said, the only really determining factor is if my benefits get approved and then if like everybody who wants to join the rental agrees to it. I, I just really hope. Crossing my fingers and my toes. Okay, chatters, I promise you, once it's confirmed, I'm gonna title the stream, I have some news to share. Th that's gonna be the stream. That's gonna be, like, the goal like notification. So once you see that, that means it's either going through or not. <laughs> it's one of the two. Wait, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, today's Tuesday. The only thing I don't like about the art streams, how they're taking, like, all day, basically, is that eight hours is a lot of time to spend doing something in one sitting. Like, that's literally, like, a whole work day. And it's still hard for me to get used to. Like, I know I could split it up into, like, two streams, but I like the idea of doing a painting every stream. <laughs> Could you also tweet the news? Maybe. I do have one little silly tweet that could be related to good news. But, like, I don't want to announce it until I... Because, like, obviously, if we do move, I would have to take, like, a one-week break. That way we can actually, like, move. But that'd be, like, the first break I've taken in a, a long time. Because the last stream break I took was... I think I took, like, two weeks off in December. Yeah, I've had issues with Instagram. Like, my art account got banned twice. Because I had no posts, I had no bio. It just got insta-banned for, like, botting, because Instagram thought since I had, like, my main account, my clips, and then a third account, they thought my art account was, like, a bot account, so it kept on getting banned. So maybe just try and use, like, a different email and a different phone, like, a different phone number, maybe. Because of Facebook buying it? I feel like Facebook ruins everything. Because of Facebook, my mom would see like re-uploads of TikToks in like her video feed. So now she just watches TikTok all day. And it's like the really cringy like super fake hack videos or like recipe tips and tricks. 
And, like, the videos she shows me are, like, videos that popped off, like, two weeks ago. Because, obviously, they're re-uploads to Facebook. But now... <laughs> it's funny. What the heck is wrong with Twitch? Is it busted for you, too? You're not getting notice? Um, check your settings on your phone. That could be it. But hi, Crystal. Because it could be like your privacy settings aren't enabled for Twitch or something. Yeah, imagine being late. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, um, like Twitch, it takes like an upwards of an hour to send out go light notifications sometimes, which I don't get. It's algorithm based. So, it's sus. Hi, Aslane. Welcome in. Is this the best worst streamer? Yes, it is. It is me, of course. But hi, welcome in, hon. <laughs> I would do, like, going live posts on Twitter, but I feel like that's cringe when you do, like, a go live every time on Twitter. So that's why, I like, ooh, big fish. I usually just do go lives if it's for, like, a planned stream or if I'm starting, like, a new game. Because I'd honestly rather have people, like, follow the actual Twitch and, like, have go notifications turned on through Twitch. Because that way they get pinged for every stream. I'm putting an alarm on so I'm not late tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Wait, Crystal. I saw you made two clips on the art stream last night. Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> they were good. <laughs> they were good. The way you trimmed them was perfect. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> They also got, like, a good amount of views in the first hour of the clips are being made. So good job, man. Good job. Good job, chatter. <laughs> I love exploiting my chat for free labor. Sorry, I'm trying to understand what you're saying, Aslane. And I don't use Discord, so I'm like, huh? I'm like, huh? <laughs> I only started using Discord once I started streaming. Wait, no, I had a Discord account because, like, my friends, like, a few of them reconnected after high school and they were like, let's go on Discord instead of Messenger. And I was like, okay. But it was still bad. I'm on Discord to bully Rainy. Aren't we all, though? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. Do not clip it and send it to her. Do not do that. Imagine if Rainy comes out of the woodworks. <laughs> okay, we can make some food because we got some fish. Oh, oh, right. I can clip it. Yeah. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Still sad that Megan doesn't have a Discord. Copium one day. Copium. I I've explained why regular chatters know why I don't have a Discord. Main, main reasons are I can't necessarily can commit to being fully like willing and able to engage offline. Because I think it's nice to have separation from stream. And then, like, in your personal time. And then also, like, you can't necessarily moderate a Discord server unless you're checking every single message as it comes in. Like, I've heard some horror stories of, like, bad stuff being seen in, like, smaller streamers' Discord. So it's like, I don't want anybody to, like, see things they shouldn't see or, like, be triggered accidentally by stuff. So... 
I don't know. Thank you for the lit crystal. I appreciate that. Chatters, I think we have done our dailies for that. I think it's time to wrap it up. You know what else it is time for? And ad, because we are three hours into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid the ads by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking your Amazon tier to what you got. Click the subscribe button to see if you have a Prime available. After the ad, the stream is not over just yet. We're gonna switch gears to you laugh, you lose. Today we're doing a normal stream which we haven't done in a long time. Do not subscribe. It feels nice doing like a normal stream again. Because like the past streams we've been doing have been like just gaming. Like we haven't had like a good structured stream in a while. So this feels nice. I like having sections. It's really... It, it's comforting almost to have like more structure. Indigo, thank you for redeeming. We'll do that at the end, potato. Dude, you guys are dumb. I hate the whole meta. Br bring this meta back. I like this one. Do this copy pasta instead. Come on. Anyway, so stick around, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. You guys are D-U-M. Silly chatters. I'm getting my headsets. The thumbnail has a bunny on it. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna change my title. Okay, title's changed. You guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. Wrong. It's capturing the wrong window. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Anyways. So, chatters, you guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type 1 in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Oh my god. looking at me like that, Gerald. Who do you think you are? Don't bite. Let me give you boop. Boop. Thank you. That was stupid, but that was good. Huh? Dude, why are they doing that shit inside? <laughs> it looks like it's like glitching. I'm just checking the codex here and I don't see any new questions. So if anybody wants to ask I don't know why they always say, oh, dodge second gen dashes are so like brittle and how they're always cracked. They're not that bad. Here's my fucking minty dash. You know, no. Look at it. Bro, not worth it for the gag. Look at the eye. Until pretty much until the quarter of the semester is over. Oh, maybe we'll get, maybe we'll wake him up. <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> Carlos, are you there? Hey, 
It's not doing anything now. So cute. I swear to God, I can't. Oh my God, don't. Don't do it again. Do it, don't. Gang, gang. I thought he was gonna throw it. That's gonna be really bad. Huh? Hey, yo. I don't like that. Comparison. Oh, he's looking at me. The D's nuts almost got me. I was like right there. I don't recognize any of the profile pics. Huh? What the fuck? Yo, this is crazy. Like the paint job. I don't think he sees me, but I wait for this thing to pull off. So I like how shit looks. Nice. Oh, oh Grandma! <laughs> Grandma! I love you, girl! Break and ship resistant. Ready? Idiot, you didn't throw it hard enough. <laughs> Django! Allez, viens! <laughs> Allez, viens! <laughs> Allez, Why was the fucking bathroom door open? That's cute. I got really close. I got very close. Anybody laugh? Anybody get got? These nice the these nuts guy was pretty good. 
That was pretty solid. Okay, so chat us. We got a hype train today, so we get to whip out the calligraphy journal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that set up. So if you're new to stream, anybody who donates or uses their channel points, they get the name written at the end of stream. I also have to change the leaderboard because we had people donate multiple times. There we go. Let's change our title as well. While you guys are waiting for me to change the title, if everybody could politely go follow my art channel, it is peacein underscore art. You can click the little banner in the chat room or click the link I just put in chat. Um, we do weekly paintings. I think the next stream on that channel is going to be Friday. So if you want to see me paint, let me go grab it. see me paint something like this on stream go follow the art channel my goal is to hit 50 followers by the end of the month which i think is totally doable so go follow it's free to follow <clears throat> so let's finish getting this camera set up i gotta change the title lima <laughs> Let's do channel point names first, because we had some people redeem. There we go. We had two people redeem a channel points. Okay, first we had Azor. Next, we had potato. I feel like streams recently have been flying by. Like, these three hours went by so quickly. I think it's because... Even though... Like, my... Let's say, like, average viewer count has been down. My chat has been still been fairly active. So thank you guys for being involved and participating in the streams and the live. So thank you guys. 
like the way I kind of see interacting with chat it just feels like we're having conversations all day. It's really nice. So thank you everyone who's hanging out. Okay, so now we can do gifters names. Oh, we can do the gradient. Cause remember we're trying to get pink here. I think Coke's cheer today. Yeah, we can do pink on the bottom. Yes. Grady's gonna go crazy. Because for the sub journal, I like to have the colors match the users' names, typically. Because, like, honestly, since the chat room is still small, I'm usually able to tell who is talking by looking at the color. So, bull, bull, bull. Purple. Look at the color palette for today. Very gauge. Yeah, purpura. Purple. Okay, I'm gonna do cokes first because I want the gradient to be good. Just a reminder, if you want me to reach your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. Okay, we had Cokes with a hundred bits. Once again, thank you for participating in the hype train today. Wowie. Here we had Mac with a hundred bits. Once again, thank you.
<laughs> when my alarm goes off, I'm dropping everything and booging it to Twitch. Oh, thank you. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Crystal. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll see you tomorrow, hun. Thank you for hanging out and chilling today. Also, once again, thank you for hanging out during the art stream last night. <laughs> your clips were really good and funny and not cancelable offenses. Thank you. Uh, Chatter, so this is going to be our last name. So if you want me to write your name, you can you donate to the channel or use your channel points. The last call. Okay, so we had Cold Bubble with one gifted. Once again, thank you. I, I don't remember if I said thank you to Titans, but thank you, Titans, for two gifted to the chat room. I'm going to put these pens away, so last call. If anybody else wants their name written. Also, no raids today. Nobody's live. Sad, G. Okay, we're done. Yo. But it was fun. I'm so glad we got to do like... I have to lower this. We got to do like a normal stream today with like gaming, Animal Crossing, and then you laugh, you lose. That was nice. We haven't done a stream like this in a while. I definitely missed the structure, but it was nice. It was nice. Um, thank you to everybody who came to stream any Chatter Circus. I appreciate you guys. We had Kobobo, Coax, Titans, Mac, and Peace and underscore Art donated to the channel. Thank you guys for helping support. Um, you guys did unlock Dino Nuggies taste test. So we'll probably do that maybe Saturday or Sunday. If I do hang out with my friends, I'm not going to stream on Saturday. And if I am able to buy the Dino Nuggies, then we might be that Saturday evening, maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, before I go, if everybody who's watching the stream right now could go follow my offline socials, I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. I'd appreciate it if everybody followed. It's free to follow. It's free to follow. <laughs> um, but thank you. Today was a pleasure. I really love Mario Kart. I, I feel like I can... I like the Mario Kart Animal Crossing streams because like, I feel like I can like talk to you guys and we can talk about random shit and goof and gaff. When I try ranch, is your S tier sauce? I think like a ketchup mayo is pretty solid, but like a ketchup ranch is good as well. But I'll, I'll try a bunch of sauces if we do the nuggets on stream. So that can be doable for sure. Anyway, schedule for this week is going to be Eastward tomorrow, Galaxy on Thursday, Art Stream Friday. We'll see what we'll do Saturday and guaranteed Meg Esports Mario Party stream. If you get top or if you win, you get VIP. So if you want to participate, make sure you're subscribed by Sunday. Will you share with chat? You know the cringe I share with like, oh my god, do you guys want to buy? Ooh. I think it's so fucking cringe when people do that. I won't do that. Unless if I get a million subs, then I'll do it. I feel like that's an adequate price, right? 
Okay, once again, thank you guys. I appreciate you all a lot. It's a pleasure hanging out with y'all. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Eastward. Okay. Okay, do an airplane fight? No, that's cringe. <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking cringe when people do it. Like, it's cute, but it's so cringe. I do say a lot of things are cringe, though, so... Awkward! Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for hanging out. And I'll see y'all tomorrow with Eastward. Bye, Bob Watchers. Bye, Lurkers.